What is going on guys? Welcome back to Nolan TCG and we are here for a bit more of an extended video because uh, Six Samurai is back. Uh, so Six Samurai FTK is at full power. I guess say full power. No, it's not. Definitely not because we don't have a sold anymore. Um, but with the new support, the deck is back. Uh, it no longer requires the assault day, which means you are no longer required to play a bunch of dead cards in your deck. Uh, meaning you can now play FTK with 12 hand traps, uh, which is a pretty good way to play an FTK deck, if you ask me. Um, so we're going to go through pretty much a full breakdown of what my deck list is at the moment, as well as some ideas that I have for the deck moving forward. Um, I am, like I, like I did say, we are going to be doing an FTK build. Um, there are ways to change it, of course. I'm essentially just, you're establishing the infinite loop and then deciding what way you want to go from there. Um, if FTKs aren't for you, there's always ways that you can change that to uh, better suit your play style, if that is not something you would like to do. But otherwise, uh, we are going to go through combos on how the FTK functionally works, uh, if you need a bit of an update. Um, with essentially, the new string synchro, the new Sheehan, helps you out so much. Uh, the ability for it to add on summon gives you the monster negate as well to protect you if you've got other cards. Essentially turns this deck into a typically three names will get you to the FTK, four will guarantee it. Um, and then essentially the old two card combo still works as well. But what we're going to do is more just general test hands. We'll shuffle up, see what we draw and go from there because that's the most realistic way, I guess, to depict a deck when you're, I guess, not playing against hand traps, of course. Um, but let's get jumping into it. So... Uh, we'll go through the basic deck profile here. Um, so, of course, we have three copies of the new teacher. Um, like, good card. The fact that it searches the six strike is great. The six strike then gets you a reborn. Uh, and overall, fantastic. Uh, the fact that the, the six strike can also special summon from hand, depending on what you draw, uh, does just get you into the FTK easier um, because you can special summon your blue or your red and then off you go. Um, then we have three of the other new guy. I apologize. I don't remember the names for these guys off the top of my head. Um, these are This is the quick play searcher when it goes to graveyard. Um, searches your asceticism. Uh, also searches cunning. Um, so I would probably recommend putting cunning into the deck. Um, I'll, I'll, unfortunately, I couldn't find my cunnings. So there are other things in the list that uh, I will recommend changing for the cunnings. Um, but yeah, searching both of those is fantastic, which gets you more Bushido counters, which of course gets you to the FTK, which is important. Um, then we have our free extenders. We want to try and play as many of these as possible. We've got our three copies of Kizan. Uh, again, fantastic card. You control another 6 am, slap it on the board. Uh, gets you to your links, gets you to your, to your synchros now, especially because we have the two that free summons as a four that free summons. So you can essentially throw a, a random body on board, go bang, bang, and then off you go to the races. Uh, we, of course, have the one Grandmaster as well because we ha need to have as many of those free summonings, uh, sorry, three summon free summoning sorry cards as possible. Um, of course, we have our primary starter for the deck, the three copies of Kageki. Um, nine times out of ten, this is what you want a normal summon. Of course, it's a part of the two-card combo, um, but it does get you into the next lot of cards that we're going to go through, which are essentially the cards that don't free summon themselves from the hand. So Kageki, with one of those, plus other guys, really just sets you up so well. Um, Kageki plus the new guy as well, it gets you into a six, um, or you can go the old-fashioned way and make a, a Sheehan if you'd like to. Uh, then we have our cards that are the, essentially the not free summons. Um, there is the Kazaru. I decided to just play one simply because I didn't want to brick on too many cards that didn't just get themselves out of my hands. Yes, these two cards, the Kageki and Kazaru, are still FTK as just the two cards alone. Um, but ultimately, I didn't want to play too many cards that bricked up the deck because ultimately in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! you've got to play as many hand traps as possible to compete. Um, and playing just pointless Kazarus, I felt, wasn't the best way to go. Um, yes, we are just trying to go first in FTK, but in the instances where we do get hand trapped, because there's a lot of them going around, we want to be able to have counterplay and play out of there. And having too many Kazarus, I felt as though, would, would be too bricky for the deck. Uh, we do have one copy of Hatsume. Um, weirdly, this card can be special summoned out of the deck with Asceticism, which is really good. Um, any of the ones that have, I guess, even attacks are, are very easy to generate. The odds can be a little bit awkward. Um, Kazaru can be quite iffy at some points, but you can get there, of course, with the, the link gaining the attack. You've just got to be careful as to when you use uh, your asceticism if you're going that way. Uh, we are playing one copy of Fuma. This card is a brick. Um, it's honestly very cardable. The only reason why it is in the deck at all is because we want to be able to summon it off Sheen's Dojo if we just open Dojo plus one, um, because that then gets us into at least the link that can set us up a a gateway and then we can kind of start to play out of there um that's the the whole reason why we decided to play the one fuma 
Then we have essentially what generates our FTK um, in two copies of Shinai and one copy of Mizuho. Um, of course, they generate the infinite loop. We will go through that when we get to the test hands part. If you don't know how these guys generate, it's very simple. Uh, Mizuho tributes the Shinai to pop itself. Sinai engrave will trigger, adding back the Mizuho to hand. Mizuho can special because you have the other copy of Sinai. That then puts your counters on the gateway because it generates four that you can add back to Sinai, special it out, and then just continuously do that. And as long as you're summoning one of them under the link, it continually will gain a counter, and then you have unlimited Bushido counters to play with, which gets you into some neat stuff. Now, one of those neat things is the Amazonas Archer. Um, again, I'll show you how to how to generate this, but essentially we're going to be using uh, Primary Math Mech Alan Bershin to search the Amazonas Archer, then special summoning it with a copy of Saiyuja. Uh, really good card. Uh, then we have, I guess, the two cuttable Six Samurai cards. Uh, she and Squire is what I've currently got in the deck because I couldn't find my copy of Cunning. This will be getting switched out the moment that comes in the mail because I ordered another one. Uh, and then we have uh, one copy of Legendary Secret of the Six Samurai. Ultimately, in this version of the deck, very cuttable. I used to play this as just a card that you can use as the free extender when you go um, uh, into the uh, Special Summon Kageki uh, and using this to chain block. Um, but ultimately, nowadays, I just don't think the card's ultimately useful at all. Um, I would cut this for another hand trap, which would, of course, buff it out to 12 hand traps in the deck. Uh, then for our spells, we've got one copy of Gateway. Of course, infinite loops become infinite loops because Gateway exists. Uh, one copy of Dojo, um, of course, gets you bodies out of the deck when you draw it. It's also another location for your stash Bushido counters, which means you can FTK uh, a little easier if you accidentally draw one of these cards. You can search the other gets you the extra Bushido counters on board, which helps you play around other things. Um, weirdly, you can kind of dodge Imperm uh, in that instance, but it's, it's still not the easiest thing to do. Um, then we have our three copies of Smoke Signal, searches pretty much every card in the deck now, which is quite good. I think it actually literally searches every card in the deck. Um, quite nice, quite nice. Uh, then we have our one copy of Asceticism. Uh, like I mentioned before, uh, we will, should also be playing a Cunning in here to go alongside this. And then we have the uh, Six Strike Assault. Um, and yeah, again, like I mentioned before, summons from Grave, summons from Hand. Very good card. You also get the bonus effect. Bonus effect is kind of garbage. Uh, then we have the one copy of Reinforcement of the Army after that. Of course, searches, again, the entire deck at this point. A uh, bit of a theme to the reason why we play these spells. Uh, then, of course, the rest of the cards can all just be hand traps or cards of your choice. They are essentially, at the moment in the deck, just filler I had from Rarity Collection that I wanted to fill out the remaining cards of the list with. But ultimately, I feel as though this is the core that you should be playing, I guess, minus the Legendary, and then switching the um, the Sheehan Squire out. Um, if you want to play a not-FTK build, I would recommend keeping the Sheehan Squire in the deck, because then you can get to stuff like Barkeon and Beast a hell of a lot easier. Um, and the fact that the, the new Synchro searches the Sheehan Squire is quite nice. Finally, you have a way to add it to your hand. Um, which is why, again, suggesting only playing one of it. And remember, uh, your gateway can infinitely summon it back to the board, which is quite good. Uh, then we have, our, I guess, the, the extra deck for the deck. Uh, we've got two copies of the new copy of, of the new Sheehan. Of course, on summon, adds a six samurai monster from deck to hand. Very good. Uh, then also acts as a monster negate. Again, very good when we've got a lot of hand traps running around in the format. Uh, then we have the one copy of the new Anishi. Um, summons back from Banishment, goes to Grave. It also works as removal. Um, in, the, I guess, the actual FTK, very rare for you to actually use this card. There are awkward situations where you can generate it if you're using a Hatsume. Um, and then, yeah, you can get to this. And then this summons back from your Banish pile when you go into the links. There are ways to make it work if you get stuck, which is why you still want to play one of it in a pure FTK list. But it's also Six Samurai, so you want to try and play as many of the extra deck cards as possible because realistically you're only using about nine cards of this extra deck for the actual ftk combo um so you've got plenty of room to move around uh, for the rest of the synchros we've got the one copy of original Shien. uh you don't really make this card at all um it's here to be cute it also is a spill and trap negate which is again really nice in the awkward situations where you need to well, i guess you think your opponent might have imperm uh if they do that's okay we can keep going. Um, something you can look at putting in the main deck as well uh, in the instances of trying to play around hand traps is putting in stuff like talents because generally drawing two cards in this deck will get you out of a hand trap. Um, so talents, definitely probably a good card to, to run if you want to consider that as a part of your, I guess, hand trap lineup. Our last synchro here is as Barkeon. 
I just like playing Barkeon in the deck, um, so it's always kind of here. It's very easy to make, very, very easy to make with that new tuner that free summons is a level 2, um, so why not play it? Uh, then for our links, uh, the card that makes the whole world go around, Battle Shogun. Uh, running this card at 3, of course you need to. Do not play this card at 2. It is no longer a card that you can just play at 2 and make other space for. You want to play this card at 3 because you can use this to keep your combo going so much by going just the random bodies into another Battle Shogun. You net a search when the bodies go to Grave. You tick more counters on your Bushido uh, into your gateway. Generates more Bushido counters. You, yeah, you have to run this card at 3. Um, I guess the only other link you need for the FTK is one copy of Sayuya. Um, you can play this at two um, if you feel as though you don't have a way to special summon the blue or the red, although it is not necessarily the hardest thing to do to generate those cards to the board. Um, typically you can manipulate with your asceticism or you can use your six strike to get you there if you need to uh, for red and blue. Uh, for the rest of the links, we're just on one IP, one SP, one Appaloosa. Again, you can switch these cards to whatever you would like for whatever you'd like this deck to do. For our XEs, we've got the one copy of Primera Mathmic Alan Bershin. I mentioned it earlier, this is the card we're using to search the Amazonas Archer when you detach three materials. Of course, spoilers, they are your Kizans. You detach the three Kizans, search the Amazonas Archer, make your Sayu your great place. Uh, last cards we've got here is a Dweller and a Baguska. Um, you can play uh, one copy of Dugaris in here as well. In fact, I would probably recommend cutting one of these cards for the Dagaris just because it helps you extend out uh, in instances where you maybe get interrupted on the FTK. Um, if you're going all in on that FTK, definitely a card I would recommend putting into this extra deck, probably cutting one of these two XEs to replace it. Um, but that's it for, I guess, the, the deck profile portion of the video. Um, I guess we'll get into some test hands now as to just kind of what the deck does and how to basically set up the FTK. Um, really hope that on the first hand here we don't completely and utterly brick because that would be pretty awkward because I'm going to try and do this without any cuts or anything like that um, because ultimately I want to be able to show this deck being consistent and the fact that we can shuffle up and then draw an FTK hand would be great. Um, however, I have just realized that I haven't brought any dice with me over here which is going to be a little awkward because we're going to be generating infinite loops. Um, I can see where I've put the dice there at the other end of the table. Um, but I am mic'd up and currently attached to the uh, camera, so yeah, a little bit awkward there. I do apologize for that. I might have to quickly disconnect and run over and grab that, but I will do that if we brick on this hand. Uh, so let's see. So we're going to start off with an Ash Blossom. Not really what we want to see. We see Rhoda and our other brick. Not a great start. Smoke signal, we have game. Okay, so we've got the Kizaru. So straight up, we are going to go uh, Smoke Signal and Rhoda. Of course, if you get drolled in this deck, you lose, so we're just going to ignore the fact that that exists. Um, so we're going to search Kageki off the Smoke Signal, and we are going to search Kazaru off of the Kageki. Okay, so put these guys into bin. We're now going to normal summon the Kageki. Kageki effect will trigger special summoning the Kazaru. Um, Kazaru will now trigger to add one from deck to hand that we do not currently control. Uh, in this instance, you're going to add the Dark, level 3. Um, that is going to search you when it goes to grave. Um, so now we're going to special summon to the board. Um, from here, probably we want to go into the link, because that we're going to search the asceticism. Um, link will get off on the discard, or we can go straight into the synchro. Um, we've got a couple of different lines that we can do here. So we're going to, let's try the synchro line and just see where we end up, shall we? Um, so we're going to start off going into the synchro. Uh, Synchro is now going to trigger at chain link one. Uh, chain link two, we're going to add the uh, quick play spell. Um, so quick play spell in this instance, probably going to search, or we're not probably going to search. We are going to search the asceticism, um, and then off of the other search, we are going to go into uh, the new level two. Where is he? There he is. There. Don't know why I'm shuffling over here. Um, so now we're going to special summon the new level 2. Uh, we're going to sync off for... Oh, sorry, not sync off. We're going to link off for the Battle Shogun. Uh, probably going to put the Battle Shogun over here so we have access to both zones. Sorry, I'll try and make sure that we're getting all the stuff on camera. Um, so we're going the Battle Shogun at Chainlink 1, discard the Ash Blossom we've got, and then Chainlink 2, we're going to search the Six Strike. So going back into the deck... I apologize, I'm trying to get these in the light... So we're away from the normal setup. So we'll add a gateway and that. 
So now rather interestingly here, we've got, so we've got the gateway, we've got the strike, and we've got the battle shogun. So our asceticism can all of a sudden become a little more live than we would originally expect. Um, as a part of that, what we're going to do here is we're going to go into, uh, because we've got the Kizan in hand, we're going to go for a Mizuho line. So from here, what we're going to do, nice and easy, uh, we're going to special summon our, Mizu uh, our Kizan, sorry, uh, ticking up our counters. So we'll go to two counters on the gateway, one onto the Battle Shogun, uh, putting the Battle Shogun to 1300. Uh, from here now, we're going to activate the Strike, uh, use that strike effect to go and special summon back from our grave. Remembering that uh, Kizan isn't, uh, Kizaru isn't once per turn here, um, so you can special summon the Kizaru. Um, so let's just double check that before I, I say something really stupid. Um, no, so yeah, it is not once per turn. It's just if this card is special summoned. So we can special summon it back off the strike uh, in this instance. Uh, we'll tick up to uh, two, four counters onto Gateway, two counters on a Battle Shogun. Uh, which now puts the Battle Shogun to 1600 because it's going to gain 100 for each Bushido counter on the field. Um, but we're going to use the Kazaro effect to search. Um, because we don't control blue, we're going to search blue in this situation. Uh, and then from here, we're going to get a little cute. So now we can activate the Asceticism uh, on the Battle Shogun. Um, of course, because it's now got 1600 attack, we can special summon the Fire from the deck. So we're going to special summon the Mizuho. Um, ticking up the gateway again, so the gateway now has uh, six counters on it. Uh, ultimately, we have exactly what we need. We have game. We have game five ways from Sunday. Um, so we're now going to link these two off, just because we're going to need the board space later. Um, remember, we've done all of this with the... Uh, because we've drawn the Kizan earlier in the combo, uh, we aren't now having to link this off to get the extra counter onto the Battle Shogun. Uh, thus, we have the Monster Negate to play through the hand trap, uh, rather interestingly. Um, so, sorry, we're linked to him. Uh, so we're going to link to into the Battle Shogun here, ticking up another counter onto the Battle Shogun located here, summon to the Gateway. Uh, because we control the Mizuho, we're now going to special summon the Sinai, and now we're going to use the Gateway, removing four counters, and search our other copy of Sinai. Uh, and as you can see, we now have an infinite loop. We're going to special summon our Sinai to the remaining zone. We can now use the Mizuho, tributing the Sinai, destroy itself, uh, then the, the Mizuho is going to trigger because it was tribute on the previous chain. Add back the Mizuho. Uh, we can now special summon the Mizuho to the zone the Battle Shogun points to. Uh, ticking up our gateway. <coughs> Apologies, sorry. I've now been talking for close to 20 minutes straight. Um, now we can use the gateway to add the Sinai back from Grave. Uh, special summon it to the board. Tick up more counters on the gateway. Infinite loop. So as long as you're generating under the Battle Shogun, it will continue to tick up. Uh, at this point, you declare to your opponent... I am going to do this combo X amount of times, and then you are ultimately going to win. Uh, we have drawn our Amazonas Archer, um, so rather interestingly, we don't actually have to do the play with um, with the Alan version, but for, I guess, argument's sake, we'll put that back into the deck. Um, <coughs> sorry, apologies again. Um, this is actually a little bit interesting where we've clogged, the board is a little clogged because we're playing around the hand trap. Um, so we'll exhibit how we, I guess, play around that. Um, it's very simple. Spoilers. Uh, you're just going to generate into an SP, into an IP. So we're going to go into our IP, link these off for our Sayuya, uh, because it has to have different names. We can't just use the uh, link, oh, we can't just use the uh, Mizuho's and Sinai's. Uh, you have to turn them into another body. Um, you, I used to play uh, Levier the Sea Dragon in this instance uh, because you'd always have the card banished off the um, the banished to summon back. Sorry, brain's starting to not work. Um, but from this point, we're going to burn, uh, I guess, our infant counters off our uh, gateway. Sorry, I won't stall any longer. Uh, we're going to add our three copies of Kizan here. So nice and simple. One, two, three. Special summon out all three Kizans. Uh, because we still control the Battle Shogun. Remember, you're still ticking up gateway counters as well at this point. Although it's, again, redundant, because we have an infinite amount. Uh, use the Xyz, uh, use the Primary Math Big Allen version to add any level 4 in the game. That's where we add our Amazonas Archer. Um, so, in the instance where we drew it, didn't matter, but that's how you actually access it. Special summon the Amazonas Archer off the Sayuya. 
And then you can just infinitely add back Kizaru's, uh, Kizans. Add back the Kizan. Special, pop it, off we go. Uh, nice and easy. Just pop these two, 1200 damage. Summon them. Pop these two, 1200 damage. Add them back, summon them again. Add them back, summon them again. And ultimately, that's how we get to game. <coughs> again, apologize for all this coughing. I should have brought water with me. I also should have packed dice. Um, not a great representation of how prepared I am for this video. Definitely just got in the impulse and wanted to do it right here and right now. Um, but yeah, uh, that's a basic run through of how the deck functionally works. That was, I guess, a good exhibition of how the two card combo works because we drew the two card combo straight away. Um, ultimately, I, if you want to play this deck, you've got what, four months to practice. Do what I've done, print off the proxies, of course, buy the real cards when they come out, but for the meantime, you can use these to uh, uh, test. Uh, or what I would normally do is actually just order the cards from the OCG when they release, so I at least have OCG copies of the cards that are a little nicer uh, than print off proxies and kind of go from there. Um, but ultimately, get this deck in your hands, test. I've shown you how to actually fundamentally do the combo. You can run through as much as you want and then, uh, yeah, figure it out. But of course, I've been Ben from Nolan TCG. And have a good afternoon, everybody.